would say I do define myself as a wrestler, but I don't lead with it. I sort of hope that it comes out naturally. You know, when people went to go introduce me, they'd be like, hey, this is my friend Ronnie. You know, he's a professional competitive eater. And I think nowadays people still introduce me that way. But in my head, like, I feel, I feel like I'm a professional wrestler who's also a competitive eater and not a competitive eater who's also a wrestler. I played music. That was it. That's all I ever did before wrestling. That's all I ever cared about before wrestling. Now that life doesn't even exist anymore. Well, before, I was a United States sailor. So I was at 24-7 all day, every day, for five years, going on six now. Before I was a wrestler, I identified myself by the fact that I was a cheerleader. And that was never weird, and never felt braggadocious. Hi, oh yeah, no, I'm a cheerleader. Oh, it's from my school, yeah, I like it, thank you. I've been doing it for this many years, no big deal, conversation's over. Oh, hi, I'm Tate, I'm a wrestler. What, what kind? In the mud? You're a mud wrestler? <laughs> no. Oh, so like, like what Ronda Rousey did? You beat people? No. Oh, so, like with the headgear on a mat? No. And it's a much harder, lengthier conversation to have. I don't know if the word hardcore is precise, but I would say that I am a very passionate fan. I'm a wrestler. I actually wrestle. I train people here. I write about wrestling race I have. I'm in the people business. I'd say extreme is going as far as like jumping off of like rules to like plywood and stuff. Yeah, I'd say I was a little hardcore. So I'm here to uh, motivate the people. I've like been paid to write wrestling. I follow the wrestling business. I do a podcast about the wrestling business where we talk about SEC filings and data and spreadsheets and legal filings and scholarly papers. If you're hardcore, you're passionate, that's all it is. You're dedicated to watch it whenever it's on, or even if you miss it, you DVR it or whatever, or you watch it on Hulu or your, like your HBO apps. You're always gonna catch it no matter what. I sort of transitioned really quickly into watching wrestling being like work and homework more than this fun, easy, relaxing thing to do. Um, so if I ever like went overboard on wrestling, it's because I did three shows in a weekend driving the whole time, or because I dropped out of college to move to South America and wrestle on some obscure TV show. Like, those are the ways that I went overboard more than media consumption. I've been trying the last little while to like, all right, I need to do some things that are not wrestling anymore. I need to go to a movie theater for the first time in four years. 